This episode of the Kutu Muay Thai Podcast is brought to you by PMTLifestyle.com, authentic Muay Thai lifestyle by Kutu. Definitely go check out the website at PMTLifestyle.com for some awesome lifestyle merchandise that's for those of you out there either involved in Muay Thai, looking at getting involved in Muay Thai, and embrace a healthier lifestyle to live the life of Nak Muay. Go check it out. Sweaty Cop, welcome to this episode of the Kutu Muay Thai Podcast. So today is... Friday, July 14th. I know I've normally been doing this on like Wednesdays, but I had a bunch of work come up this week. Super slammed on Wednesday. Uh, running around. Um, we're working on bringing some new staff at the academy and stuff like that as well. So just really been been busting at both ends here. Um, but how are you doing? Hope you had a great week. Shout out to our Muay Thai community Discord server. Some of you are on the TikTok live right now as well. If you're not on our TikTok, go follow us at Pu'u Muay Thai. I'm letting Discord know right now too. Live right now on TikTok. So everybody that is part of the Pu'u Muay Thai community, I want to say first and foremost, thank you for all your support. Had some really great messages come in on um, TikTok before I went, like right when the live started, before I started recording. Um, you know, and, and uh, this kind of comes into why we do what we do is to have an impact on people in a positive way. So uh, all of it stems from that is to spread the positivity of uh, what we do and have a positive impact on people. All right, because martial arts, combat sports is a people business. It is a community-driven business. So uh, without you guys, we wouldn't be around. And I, I understand that. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure most people who run martial arts schools understand that too. Man, there are all kinds of people filtering in. What's up, guys? I hope you're doing good. Make sure to double tap the screen if you're watching this live right now too. Um, it means the world to us. We are a minority-owned small business, Ventura, California. Uh, we have a location in Santa Barbara, California. Uh, Coach Ryan at Pui Muay Thai Santa Barbara. Uh, we'd love to have people come visit. We have a lot of people hitting us up that now that the world's opened back up since, you know, we started our TikTok during COVID. Um, and it's it's kind of funny to think about it. As I'm part of like a bunch of like business community forums and stuff. And someone said, you know, like there was a question on there. It was, what's one piece of advice someone gave you that was just terrible advice? And that piece of advice was, don't do TikTok. Why would you be posting about Muay Thai on TikTok? That's for kids that are dancing and stuff like that. What are they doing the Macarena? I don't know. I know it started as as that, but um, I saw it changing. And with that, we've connected with so many people around the world. You know, had multiple viral videos, you know, a couple million plus play videos. And being able to connect with more people in Muay Thai because of that. Um... That's really what it's about. And what's been really great is we're able to see a lot of people who are introduced to Muay Thai for the first time ever. They're brand new in Muay Thai. And I'll share just a little bit on that as well is there's so many of these like, uh, I guess you can call them influencers that came up in Muay Thai that either like very little experience, you know, one, maybe two fights. It doesn't matter how many fights you have when it comes into like having impact on people right but this is just where where i was at and they're creating these youtube channels blowing up and i'd have people who are coming in who are spending you know 150 250 dollars a month trained with us and they're watching these free videos and asking us why we're not doing the stuff that's on the free videos right and it came very became very apparent to me that we need to start putting more content out about what we do um and we had all this leverage we weren't using we had brick and mortar or have brick and mortar, you know, locations, which these people don't. So, uh, it was really on us to not be doing that. We were really busy just doing the thing. So, and that's understandable. And to build the team up to the point now where we can focus a little bit on, on different aspects, such as being and doing this podcast, you know, if you're listening to this podcast is for you. 
one of the great things about that as well, as well is to create um, better education of Muay Thai. So that way there's not as much like disinformation. You know, they're not having as many people ask us about kicking banana trees and stuff like that. When they come in, they're getting the crash size hand wraps. They know about their, where to get their equipment, things like that too. That That's just about quality of like the students is increasing because the education is there. All right. And that's, that's why we make jokes about certain things too. All right. Um, that way, you know, I, I had the joke, Charlie Putasos, you know, was wearing basketball shorts, the cloth shin guards and the crappy, you know, sporting goods store gloves and asking how many street fights you got. Some people just didn't know any better. Right. That's why we make a joke about it because it allows people to understand like, Hey, like that's not really, that's not what it's about. Right. So with that too, that's one of the things like our academies, we say we specialize in beginners on all our marketing material. And I had somebody recently question, they're like, well, what's your guys' experience level if you only work with beginners? And I said, well, we don't only work with beginners. We specialize in beginners because everybody starts at day one, square one in Muay Thai. Even if people have experience when they come to us, they still start fundamentals for a couple of weeks. We don't know them, right? We're getting them acclimated to our team and stuff like that. Everybody starts at day one, no matter your experience. All right, and if we have a world champion that comes in onto the mats and they're in a fundamentals class, guess what? We're not changing our lesson plan. We're still teaching what we know best, right? Of course, we're going to ask them questions. They're world champion. They obviously know their shit, but that just kind of gives you the mindset of like how we present stuff. We don't teach stuff that we don't know, right? Uh, we bring in others that know more as well. I'm not saying we're like the best, the shit when it comes in the Muay Thai. Um, you know, I was mediocre fighter at best. I like I call myself a journeyman. I, you know, have basics, have techniques, all that stuff. Um, but it it really came into me just wanting to test myself, right, and then get these experiences and train with the best in the world. Uh, I have a question from Johnny Cruz two one two seven. He's asking how many days a week are good to train. I'm going to get into the Q&A section, and I'm going to add that onto my Q&A list here. So Johnny Cruz, 2127 on TikTok. How many days a week are good to train at a minimum? So, and I'll talk about that. I'll give you a general answer right now. I'll say anywhere from two to three, two to three times a week. All right, and uh, I'll, I'll elaborate more on that. Um, towards the end of the, this podcast. We usually do these episodes. If you're, if you're listening to this now, you're like, yeah, duh, I can see how, how long it's recorded. These people are watching live over on TikTok. Shout out to our TikTok. If, I, if you're just coming in, I just praise all you guys. appreciate you. Johnny Cruz, thank you, brother. No problem, my man. Uh, thank you for coming in. Make sure to double tap screen, stuff like that. Help preach the gospel of Muay Thai. That's one of the other things that kind of came in here, too was there's all these awesome reviews that poured in um, on our Pu'u Muay Thai business page. So I, I'm very grateful for it, but there's one in here. I want to read it because <laughs> it, uh, it was very good. It was very, very like uh, well-written, and I want to give a shout-out to this. I'm, I'm going to find it here right now. Um, okay, do, 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 do. where is it at? I'm just browsing through. Okay, choo, 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 amazing instructors. It's one in Thai. Okay, so from Jay Alexander, shout out to uh, our student Jay. Pu'u Muay Thai is my sweaty church. The coaches are high priests of the art of eight limbs. The atmosphere and camaraderie between the staff and students makes it more like a family gathering than a gym. Pu'u Muay Thai is a true gem in the community, and I love watching new students discover the joy of learning Muay Thai. If that doesn't say what we're about right there, Jay, man, talk about nailing our message and the vibe that we try to bring. I really appreciate you, man. Thank you for taking the time to go leave a review of Pu'u Muay Thai over in Ventura. I really appreciate it. So I, I just had to share that little gem because it, it made me smile when I saw it pop up. I'm like, this is, this is uh, a dope review, all right? I can maybe get that featured somewhere at the, at the academy. Um, you know, I, I was also talking on here a little bit before, and I was 
coming on today. Like, you know, there's a lot to talk about in Muay Thai that's going on right now. Uh, but we had somebody who was talking about training through injuries, right? And it's something that I have a lot of experience with doing in helping people manage their injuries while they train. Whether it just be regular everyday students that get injured skiing, snowboarding, skateboarding, surfing, they fall, trip, whatever it may be, a dog bites them, car accident. And it's just overcoming injuries in the mindset. All right. So it is the art of eight limbs, right? So if you, if you break your left hand, guess what? You still got your right hand and you still have your two legs. All right. It's, it's very important to understand that your training can get modified. A lot of people think, oh, well, I, I can't use my arm. I can't hold pads. It's okay. We understand you're not the first person that couldn't hold pads. Like that's just the reality of it, right? Uh, for us, we see this all the time. Um, one of our coaches, Ralph, he did a spectacular job when he had a torn meniscus. Uh, he had a meniscus surgery. This is from skateboarding and an ACL tear and stuff like that too. So and I just told him, hey, show up. This is before we started coaching. Just show up to training. So he'd come sit down on the bench and I would hold mitts for him, give him some drills to practice while he was sitting down. And he still showed up, you know, two, three times a week. He'd show up, he'd still participate. And that's, that helped him continue his consistency, his consistency streak, because he was being very consistent. And I've seen it time and time again where people are like, well, I'm just going to take a little break. And that little break turns into that's the last time you'll see them on the mats for if they ever come back to it. Eternal says, hey, man, I sent you that message on Instagram. Thank you so much, Eternal. I'll check it out after the show. Um, you know, so overcoming those injuries and that mindset, right? So when you have an injury, it, I know it's really easy to kind of get stuck in that dark place. I've been there. Believe me, I've been there. Um, multiple times. Multiple times. And every time it happens, it's one of those things like, oh, this is this is a familiar place. I'm I remember this. And knowing that though you can't control what happened, uh, you can control what you can do after, right? So whether it, you know, the thing is, is like, hey, um, if you have like a life-altering injury, right? Yeah, you, maybe you can't train like you did before, but it doesn't mean you can't train, all right? Uh, don't let, try not to let those things hold you back from doing something that you genuinely enjoy doing, the community you're a part of, there's so many different ways to participate in Muay Thai. And this is something that, um, you know, with our Putu Muay Thai license program um, to help people run their academies and their Muay Thai programs effectively. Because there's so many things that people could be doing to keep their students actively engaged that they're not. Right? Because they still know. They don't have the program. They don't have the curriculum for it or even know, like, the benefit of it and how it's going to help their, their students. And I'll tell you, most coaches... Um, they want to know, uh, someone's inviting me. I don't know who Tarib, uh, Larib Tarin is. So, man, if you want to come on, you got to let me know. Just came home from watching Muay Thai. Nice, Frederick. I mentioned the message, but my former training partner was the main surgeon I sent. You thought, whoa, man, that's, that's cool. Eternal, thank you for sharing that, man. I'm definitely going to go check that out. Um, kind of going back on to that, too, is, uh, you know, still be part of that community. And if you're a martial arts instructor and you have a student who's dealing with injuries and stuff like that and you don't know what to do, man, reach out to me. Shoot me an email, jonathan at muaythaiventura.com. It's Muay Thai, you know, I spell that. And then Ventura, V-E-N-T-U-R-A dot com. If you have questions for me uh, that you want me to read live on air on the Putu Muay Thai podcast, go send me an email, jonathan at muaythaiventura.com. I would love to read it, uh, discuss it a little bit, all right? But going back on to this, this mindset, it's very easy. It's, it's normal. You know, you get knocked down, you got to get back up, right? Just like in, in a fight, you see fighters get back up all the time, and you're like, oh, man, they're, they're still going. And that's the mindset that's developed through Muay Thai. And it's easy. You know, if you've been training for six months, one year, and you're 28 years old, right, you went 27 years of your life where you didn't have that. But you're developing, and you do have that. That's one of those things is like if you've been training, you have that in you. If you make it past your first 30, you know, not first 30 days, first three months, like 90 days, you have it in you, all right? And you might not even know it. And it's important to not give up on yourself, all right? And talk with your coaches. Very, very important. Um, you know, for me, I've had partially, I've partially torn a meniscus in my right knee. 
uh, starting to develop in, like scar tissue and stuff like that. Now I'll, I'll eventually that's from fighting. That's not from training. And I constantly deal with, you know, Achilles tendonitis, um, you know, constantly, constantly. That's like, that's a constant battle, uh, calf tears. Cause I have terribly flat feet. Um, I was talking about this before I got told like in my early twenties by a uh, foot specialist, like foot doctor and that I should never run again. All right. That was over a decade ago. I've done multiple 10 K races, half marathons, this did a marathon race. I've ran marathon distances before, like, and I'm fine. All right. Yeah. Was my, you know, did my uh, tendonitis flare up? Yeah, of course. But I'm able to work around it and, and keep training and keep doing what I want to do. And I'm not going to let that hold me back. All right. Uh, I see there's a very big extreme. I don't talk about it a lot. Cause it's not something that I'm like, yeah, this is what I do. All right. It's just that's part of like the mindset you get out of Muay Thai. All right. So no matter what it is, you know, you think like, oh, I can't train because I broke my toe or I broke my finger. Or I broke my arm. And cut, talk to your coach. Okay, is there a way that I could train with this injury? Ask them, you know. And the thing is, doctors don't know, unless they train Muay Thai, they don't know what Muay Thai, like what training entails. For all they know, when you say, hey, can I train Muay Thai? They think you're fighting, right? They think you're going out and competing and sparring. It's like, yeah, of course with a broken arm, you can't go out and go spar, right? But they don't know that. So they're just going to tell you blanket statement, no training Muay Thai, and that's an uneducated, you know, piece of advice. That's what it comes down to. So when they say, don't train Muay Thai, I say, hey, can I just hit the bag with my other arm? Can I still kick? All right? Just hit the bag. Hit some pads. I'm not holding pads. I'm not sparring. Like, you got to ask more questions because the thing is, they, they don't know what Muay Thai is. You, like, you know, the information you have in your brain, they don't have that. Right? The information in your coach's head, maybe you don't even have it, but... The doctor definitely doesn't have it unless he's heavily involved in Muay Thai, which shout out to our doctors at Pu'u Muay Thai. We have a couple people in there that are involved in uh, the medical field who are around the academy, and I'm sure you give them some solid advice that they came into your office and had that kind of stuff happen to them. But just have that mindset that, hey, I'm, I'm going to figure out a way to train around this, all right? And like I said, if you have a life-altering uh, injury, of course, like t- take your time. You know, figure out what you can do. All right, try not to focus on things that you can't. It's very easy. I know it's not training the same all the time, but it's, it's better than nothing, right? Uh, and one of the things that people always neglect is training your mind and your IQ in Muay Thai by watching high-level fights and really watching, not just for entertainment, but seeing what the fighters are doing, their targeting, their ring positioning, how they're moving their stance, what they're doing with their hands, where they're looking, you know, how they're moving their hips, how they're moving their feet. All these little things, how they're moving their shoulders. All these little things come into you becoming better as well. So I'm going to get into some Q&A here. Uh, I'm going to go first to Johnny Cruz 2127 on TikTok. We came in a little bit earlier on the episode. How many days a week are good to train at a minimum in Muay Thai? So with beginners... Here at Pu'u Muay Thai, we recommend they start with two sessions a week, two classes a week, all right? And that is a minimum. Uh, we call it our basic program. So when, when people start a trial, they do two classes a week currently. As of today, maybe you're listening to this a couple years from now, it might change. But two classes a week is good because it's a new routine for you. Uh, most people that come to us don't have martial arts experience. They don't know the limits of their body. So two times a week is a good amount because, again, I I just talked about the mental aspect. So you might be able to physically do something, but your brain is still kind of figuring out um, those neurological connections to really program yourself. So it's, it's important to, like, sit on what you learned. We have, like, online university program that people can do. It's, like, to add shadow boxing outside of that, but, like, training one on one or with a group two times a week minimum, all right? Um, I say three times a week is ideal, but that's not always the case. People can't always do that. Schedule their physical uh, well-being. Um, you know, they have a bunch of other obligations and stuff. So start with two times a week and get really freaking consistent with it. Hey, if you can hit an extra day, you know, every once in a while, do it by all means. But it's um, get that two times a week. Make it that consistency, all right? Because you could train every day for three weeks, right? 
train every day for three weeks and then burn out and not train for two months. I see it all the time. And that's why we started New Students Train two times a week. Shout out to you guys too for giving uh, the likes over on here on the TikTok as well. It helps, helps boost us up in the algorithms. Essa over on TikTok, thank you so much. It's important for people to understand that because, you know, if I just keep showing up two times, two, you know, two classes a week, over time, I'm going to do more than that person did in those three weeks where they trained every day, right? And I'm going to make more steady progress. It's very important, you know, when it, especially it's just like damage over time. Um, it, it's very, very important. It's just like a body kick, right? If you land a body kick, good technique, good speed, good power, maybe your kick's not the hardest, but if you keep hitting the same spot over and over, that's going to start hurting, right? You're, you're making that damage. So that's, that's my advice for you, uh, Johnny Cruz, over on TikTok. All right. I have the next question. It comes from our Muay Thai community Discord server from Marco said, Hey, I'm helping assist with teaching of my first class today. What are some tips to get better at it? This is a great question. Um, if you're just starting first, talk to your coach, ask what assisting is. Um, we start off in our Putu Muay Thai, uh, license program for our instructors. We call them good finders. Uh, when you first start, you're just getting integrated into that position of like leadership. So, don't overstep your boundaries. Let your coach do the job. Find what people are doing right. Okay? And it can be the smallest of things, but, like, let like if you see somebody really focusing, really trying, let them know, hey, I can tell you're really trying in class and you're really focused. Keep that going. You're going to get better. You have no idea that kind of impact that you're going to have on somebody just by saying that. Very simple. All right? Very, very simple. Uh, so being that good finder is is key to being a good assistant, okay? Um, doing your best to anticipate your instructor's needs. Look at the lesson plan before training. Hey, are they gonna need some kick shields? Are they gonna need jump ropes? Like figure out how many people in class, go grab the jump ropes, have them ready to go. Those little things, they just, they, it allows more time and flow in the class. Uh, it's things that I do as an instructor sometimes. Like I'm like, hey, like when people are warming up in shadow boxing, I'm grabbing jump ropes, getting ready. Oh, I see Cody Manley in here too, one of Pu'u Muay Thai students. What's up, Cody? Also achieved his goal of killing it in his one and only fight. Should be a fight more, my friend. But he went over and started a family, so I don't blame you. Um, next question comes from Miggy on the Muay Thai community Discord. I just got back from my first Muay Thai training. It was great. I got punched a few times in the head, though, and it hurts a little bit. Do I need to worry? So first, when you say punch in the head, like, were you sparring your first class? Because you shouldn't be sparring your first class, in my opinion. Personal opinion. Everybody has their own way. So when it comes into concussions, this is it comes into concussion safety. There is a free course by the CDC in, put out by the United States that talks about concussion safety and awareness. If you're in California and you teach kids martial arts, you are legally required to take this course. Is it enforced? No. But do the right thing. Go do your research. And look, of course, if you're in combat sports, you know what a concussion is. Right? But go do the course. Have all your coaches, your assistants do the course. It's free. You get a nice certificate. Put it up. Make it a piece of your marketing material. That's what we do. Um, and it's, it's state mandated. And this comes into this question. You know, it's like, I, I'm not a doctor, so I can't really give you any solid advice. Um, have I had headaches after training? Yes. Is it always from getting hit? No. Most of the times it's from, like, dehydration. <laughs> you know, not drinking enough water during the day and then freaking killing it in training and just kind of having a headache. So uh, make sure you have prop you're properly hydrated going into your training sessions. That would be my advice for majority of people. Make sure you have some electrolyte drink. You know, make sure you're drinking enough water throughout the day. If you train in the afternoon, make sure you drink a lot of water throughout the day. You can't just drink water during training and think you'll be okay and have 200 milligrams of caffeine. You, you'll you'll get through the session, but I'm not saying you'll feel great. Take care of your body. All right. And also, your brain, damage to the brain is very serious. Um, and the great thing about Muay Thai is the whole body is a target. So when you're getting hit, it's like, you know, you can get 
you know, leg kick, body kick, punch the body, you can get thrown. You're not always getting hit in the head, right? So um, if you have a headache, be careful of that shit, okay? Um, monitor yourself. You can dizzy, nauseous, those things. Yeah, go to go to a doctor. Um, but I wouldn't recommend sparring. That would be a, a, just general rule of thumb. Hey, if you're getting hit in the head and you have a headache, you probably shouldn't spar. Okay. Um, and talk to your coach. Because they're, they're going to know better and be able to better advise you, or they, at least they should. If not, have them go take that course. It's free. Uh, next one comes over to from uh, Ray, R-E-I, on Discord, Muay Thai Community Discord. My instructor hit me uh, on my thigh with a low kick today, and I nearly passed out at the training. I've been there before. Any tips to decrease muscle pain until it goes away? Yes. So if you have like these deep bruising, like you can't see it. I, I know the feeling, man. Or it's just you feel like you have, if you're familiar with delayed onset muscle soreness, if you're a lifter, you would do like weightlifting, DOMS. It's like having DOMS for like a couple weeks. Um, what you want to do is get the Thai liniment. Uh, the one I recommend is called Athlon Rub. Athlon Rub, they're here on TikTok as well. Um, you know, shout out to them. They have done an improvement on their original uh, Namen Moi Thai boxing oil. All right, it doesn't have yellow dyes in it. It has turmeric. It has arnica. So it has like the holistic treatments in there, along with the traditional formula. And it doesn't have the yellow dye BS that's going on to your skin. So I would recommend Athlon Rub. Put that on there. You know, ice it. You know, ice compression, a lot of stretching and stuff like that as well. My legs, so I'm, I'm rubbing my leg down right now and realized that one of the bigger guys laid a leg kick in on me. I remember feeling it, but I, did, I forgot about it until just now. Um, it's going to put some Athlon rub on after this as well. But uh, that's that's going to be important is the, the uh, Athlon rub. Go buy it. Um, you can find athlonrub.com, A-T-H-L-O-N-R-U-B.com. Um, they're, they have distribution all over the world. So uh, if you they have a distribution in UK, Europe, all that stuff. So uh, along with it's a US based company. But shout out to Anthony Salcedo. Does a lot for martial arts that people will probably never know <clears throat> until he's dead. So and he's not anywhere near dying. And he's doing a lot for the sport. So shout out to Anthony. Uh, that'd be my advice for you when it comes into your training and um, helping decrease the muscle pain until it goes away. All right. Ice, use that, use the muscle rub and stuff like that. Keep stretching it. It's going to be sore. And then bring your checkbook to, to training next time, man. Check that shit. Also, talk to your coach. Be like, yo, how can I not let that happen next time? All right. Um, that's going to be it for our Q&A today. Uh, Want to give just a little plug to our online store. If you're watching on TikTok, you see the hand wraps I have in the background. The Eat, Sleep, Teep hand wraps. We have new red and blue colors currently as a recording of this podcast episode. We ship worldwide. These are 180-inch hand wraps, handmade in Thailand. I've seen these exact same hand wraps from the exact same manufacturing facility in Thailand selling for $22 online. $22. And they have a gym name on it, right? It's not a gym name. It just says Eat, Sleep, Teep on the cuff, all right? So you can rock these with pride knowing that it's just showing that you're about that life. You're about Muay Thai, right? So uh, if you are watching this and you like Muay Thai, again, we ship these worldwide. We have a special, as of recording this, for the uh, July 2023. If you buy hand wraps, and I believe, let me just double check this because I want to make sure I want to give out some disinformation i'm talking about disinformation right don't want to talk about that but if you go to our online shop right now so it's, today's july 14th 2023 so for the month of july you get hand wraps you buy a set of hand wraps they're 12 dollars usd and then you get a limited edition numbered enamel eat sleep teep lapel pin all right small it's like one inch they're limited edition they're numbered laser etched on the back Numbers 1 through 50, all right? We have about 40 of them left. I think, or like 39. I think we just sold another one the other day. Limited edition. You got those. You're going to get a free Pu'u Muay Thai enamel pin, all right? 
I know pins are very popular, these plastic ones, man, get the real shit. This stuff's gonna last you years. You're gonna have this stuff, you're gonna pass it down to you, to your kids, your grandchildren, they're gonna see this e sleep tea pin. They're gonna look back at it and you're like, oh man, I remember when I had that. I remember that time in my life. So the enamel pin, also twelve dollars. So twenty four bucks and you get another free pin. It's great. Uh like a thank you from us and it's just buying e-sleep tea merch again the link is in the show notes if you're listening to this later also is the if you're watching here on tiktok the link is in our bio but with that said thank you so much for coming in today everybody i hope you have a great day and have a great weekend so what do you cop all right that's it today guys thank you so much for tuning in if you guys are listening on iTunes, please go leave a review. It means the world to me if you enjoy the content, if you like hearing about all the stuff that has to do with Muay Thai and what we're doing. 